Continued rain for California, fire in the south, and possibly a fourth round of snow for the Midwest. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Pewts, January 2nd, 2026. So right now, California kind of has a break of the rain, but possibly by noon Pacific time, you guys may see some light showers. But we're going to have another round of heavy rain, specifically from Northern California to the central part of California. And this is going to occur starting around like 5 p.m. Pacific time. And as this wave of moisture comes into California, we're going to see most of that consistent rain along the mountain ranges, both along the coast and along the Sahara Nevada. And that's why for today, the Weather Prediction Center only issued a marginal risk for flash flooding throughout the coastline and the central valley but for tomorrow we're going to have a slight risk for both the santa barbara area and the central valley in the northern region and then not to mention in the same time frame for today and tomorrow places like oregon washington and some places in the rockies may see some showers as well if we go up to 500 millibars of midway to troposphere this high pressure is going to be the reason why we're going to see all this weather pretty much this weekend and next week because this high pressure with its clockwise flow is going to dictate a lot of that moisture that we're seeing from the pacific into the coastline and then eventually into the rest of the part of the u.s and as of right now in the central part of the u.s we have two embedded shortwave troughs both are carrying their own vorticity maximums or spin and so areas that they're headed into is going to help with the upward motion and at the surface we're going to have two low pressure systems develop one in the plains and one around like the texas louisiana area and both of these are carrying remnants of moisture a lot from what we've seen in california but what's ironic is that they're doing opposite things so looking at the one in the plains first first we've had this high pressure that's been coming down from the midwest and with that clockwise flow and additional with that counterclockwise flow of this low pressure we're actually going to have some more subtly flow and some little bit some more and more air going into the plains specifically in nebraska so with the combination of the moisture the shortwave trough the low pressure system at the surface and this warm air advection for nebraska and the surrounding areas we may see some mixed precipitation and this all includes snow sleet and a little bit of ice accumulation as well and this is already happening as of this morning and this is going to last until about like 9 p.m central time but this low pressure in the south is causing some showers for the mississippi valley area but behind it with that counterclockwise flow we're going to have some westerly downslope flow from the rocky mountains and so because the winds are perpendicular to the rocky mountains and it's going down slope one it's going to warm this area up but also very much dry it out and so we're going to have a fire risk around the new mexico and texas region but in addition to that we are going to see some high winds from like 15 to 25 miles per hour and maybe wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour in localized areas going back up at 500 millibars with the remnants of that moisture that's coming from the west we are going to see more of that moisture going to places like canada into the midwest and so again for the fourth day in a row we are going to have another shortwave trough that's going to be coming from the north but again for all these areas we're not going to see that much snow accumulation it's mostly going to be amplifying the lake effect snow that we've been seeing so far so those not east of the great lakes we're probably just going to see some snow flurries or just like sprinkles of snow and so it's going to start in south dakota around like 3 p.m central time and then it's going to travel southeastward to places like minnesota wisconsin western michigan probably this evening into overnight eastern michigan probably see this by the morning and then northeast overnight saturday into sunday morning 